What's going on, groups? Uh, welcome to your group time. I'm here with Matt. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> he cut me off. It's fine. <laughs> we not? were just laughing. Why don't you tell them about your good news about you since high school? Yeah, since high school, I have been trying to gain weight, and I have yet to gain a pound in eight years. So that's where I'm at. I've yet to not gain a pound in eight minutes. <laughs> that's what we were talking about a minute ago. Like, He's sitting there eating cheesecake a few minutes ago, and I'm getting fatter. So I'm a little bitter. Yeah. If you see me just turn and attack him, it's all in Christian yeah. love. One or of these days. just jealous rage. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got your group's questions for you. Um, do me a favor, Matt. Give them the 45-second version of your teaching. You know, Absolutely. you got to leave the historical stuff out of it. Yep. But really, give them, give them the nuts and bolts, the, the essentials. Yeah, so what's super interesting about Palm Sunday and the story that revolves around this is that when Jesus walks into or is coming onto Jerusalem on a donkey, the people around him are clenching onto palm branches. And we, we dive into what the palm branches means, but they're actually looking for something that Jesus isn't going to give them. Right? So I want you guys to be thinking as we dive into these questions, what what makes sense in your lives that you're clenching onto that you may need to let go of in order to see where Jesus is in that moment and where God can do something with your hands open as opposed to clenched? Yeah, I love that that palms up image. I mean, it's something we talk about a lot in the Foundry Church is palms up. And I think that's a great kind of image for Palm Sunday is how do we get our palms up and not own our expectation of what God should do. Because Absolutely. that was what, I mean, it was something I, I feel like I learned again today when you were teaching uh, was that they, that they held these palm branches in that defiance of revolution. Uh, because if you hopefully you watched the teaching or you were at church and saw it, that the palm branches represented the Maccabean revolution. And, um, and to let that go and go palms up and let God be what he wants to be and trust that it's for our yeah. best. It was really good. It was such a good teaching. And it's hard to do. Yeah. It's hard to do. I'm going to give you go. the Dumbledore clap. Oh, man. Yeah, it was very good. Never I seen enjoyed that. that. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I actually learned it from Danielle. All right. <laughs> Let's dive into the questions. We're going to go with kids' questions first. So kids, these questions are for, for, me, for you, uh, for Matt. You do one, then I'll do one. Absolutely. All right. I'll start with the easy short one and let you stumble oh, over what? this big one. No, question I'm doing question okay, one. You're doing the long that. one. You're teaching today. All right. You see, <laughs> that's probably unhealthy authority. <laughs> All right. Question so one. Sorry. What part of the story did you find most interesting? Question number two, the people were excited to welcome Jesus as their king. They wanted him to free them from Rome, but they did not understand that Jesus came to free them from something even bigger. He was there to rescue them from sin and heal their relationship with God. Here's a question. Why do you think they didn't understand this? The people in the story welcomed Jesus with cheers and praise, but then when he was not who they wanted him to be, they hated him and cheered for him to be arrested and killed. In one week, they changed their minds. Does that surprise you? Kids, I think this is important that you wrestle with these questions because the, the generation you live in and grow up in has what is known as a short attention span. But we have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus as the author of Hebrews said. He's the author, the one, he's the author and the perfecter of our faith and we keep our eyes fixed on it. I challenge you as you think about these things, how can you stay tuned in to Jesus? Thanks for joining us today at Groups Kids. Have a great week. By the way, summer's getting super close. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>
Have you ever been really excited to meet someone only to find that they were not at all who you expected? Question number two. The Jewish people had suffered under the Roman rule. Have you ever suffered under, well, a tyrant? Question three. When you have a problem with someone, do you take it into your own hands or do you leave it to God? Have you ever had spiritual hindsight? You know, they say hindsight's twenty twenty. Have you ever realized that something or someone you've hated was used by God to change your life or your heart for the better? What problem are you dealing with right now that is taking your focus off Jesus? Question six, what are you holding on to that you need to open your hands up, go palms up with, and let go of? Hey everybody, thank you so much for letting me into your home through this video feed. I've been so excited to be at the Foundry and be able to speak a few things about Palm Sunday. And I hope that these questions were helpful as you dove into what it means to really live palms up. Nice. Well done, Matt. I think one of the joys in having you do this is seeing a student who grew up in the youth group stand up and, and proclaim the word of God. Well done. I'm super proud of you. And groups, stay attentive to what God's doing in your lives. Don't forget, take care of each other, love on one another. You're each other's care group. You're a family of believers, so make sure you pray together, hold one another up, and um, all things for the glory of Jesus Christ. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. See you soon. Thank you.